Hey everybody, Jessica Alstrom here, and today we begin our vision quest. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to take people all over the world through this personal vision quest workshop. Now, whether you're aware of it or not, you are officially on a vision quest. We are in completely uncertain times and it appears like everything is happening and nothing is happening. So I have decided to utilize the energy of the now, which is basically the idea of 2020 being the year of vision. And the vision is not always like, oh, I see, you know, I see everything I want to see. A lot of times it's, I see the dirty closet, I see the mess, I see what's underneath. You know, I see the roots, I see the pain, right? And as a collective, we are absolutely sitting in that. Um, you know, a lot of our addictions, a lot of our busyness, a lot of our chasing the future has been kind of ripped away from us. And whenever we are like turned away from our instant gratification fixes, we kind of have to sit in the mess. You know, it's, it's like sitting in a messy room that you've been avoiding for a really long time. And we're all going through this collectively and individually. Now we have a bunch of amazing planetary alignments that are assisting this pressurization of, our, of, a, of humanity right now. And if you understand the concept of a vision quest, it is very like, you know, kind of rooted in the shaman space of kind of depleting and denying one of their comfort pleasures in order to crack them open, whether they're, you know, being escorted into the forest for three or four days or, you know, taken into the middle of the sea or up a mountain. Well, we are kind of facing that metaphysically or and, and kind of metaphorically in our realities. We're kind of having to face the music, right? Now we're doing that with all of our different, um, you know, programs and belief systems at a core individual level. And then we're kind of doing that as a collective. So that's why you can see people that are so, so afraid. And then there are people that are so angry. And then you can see people who are like really stepping into leadership positions. You see things coming in and out of office. You see big changes happening. And we are smack dab in the middle of the year. Um, I have actually been working on this vision quest since January. And it is ready um, to be um, delivered. Uh, and it's, it's very interesting because the way that I teach is all about bringing someone back into who they are, right? Not who the world told you to be, who, you know, the world who told you not to be, but bringing you back to, you know, that all your template of, of who you were before the life, you know, your life told you not to be it. It's about reclaiming that authentic, space of yourself, um, health of your body, your divine ability to create freedom, even around havoc. So if this idea of kind of, you know, vision is 2020, right? Kind of like two eyes that you need to see clearly, right? And then one to know, which is kind of our third eye. Well, I'm going to give you guys a little, uh, tip for the day to celebrate our vision quest. And the tip is, is you have two eyes and they have very specific goals for the rest of the year, right? One, and this will help you navigate crazy waters, you know, crazy things that are happening around you. It'll help you kind of find the eye of your storm, right? So these two eyes, this, this aspect of the two eyes is kind of like a metaphor, right? You need two eyes to see. Okay. So one of your eyes find the eye of your storm. No matter what is going on around you, you know, it is very important right now for you to be able to find the eye of your storm, the peace, the calm, the clarity, even in the uncertainty, right? Find things that feel stabilized, but not too comfortable where they, you're rooting yourself in old systems and programs. Find that inner peace, that will allow you to change and go with the storm, but not get caught up in the riptide of that hurricane. Okay, so find the eye of your storm. Second, right, keep your eye on the prize. Your eye on the prize is gonna help the engine of manifestation move you into from a third dimensional space to a fifth dimensional space, right? Keeping your aspects around your desires. You know, who do you choose to be? You may not know who you are right now. You may not have the same options you had this time last year. You may have more options. You may have endless possibilities. You may feel overwhelmed. You know, we get stuck in two different ways, having no choices and having too many choices. 
So we gotta keep our eye on the prize. What is the prize that you're really trying to create this year for yourself? Is it just, you know, getting paid to be yourself? Is it finally healing that body of yours? Is it creating those healthy partnership-based relationships that you've wanted since you were a little child? Is it mending relationships? Is it moving away? Is it, you know, creating absolute freedom of time? Is it moving more into kind of an epigenic space of, of slowing down that aging process or activating your, you know, superhuman gifts? These are all probabilities and possibilities that you have when you understand the power of focus. When you're focused on the prize, your whole system, the me, myself, and I, the ego, the inner child, the higher self, is all focused in one direction, and that will give your engine of manifestation direction. So while you're kind of keeping the eye of the storm at a peaceful space of at least the certainty that I know that I am that I am, then you're also moving in the direction of the prize, which is whatever that you want to create. It will also keep you less distracted from what is. You know, the, the planet has to break down to break through. So we're actually on the other side of most of the spiritual war that's taking place, and now we're in cleanup. But if you've ever gone through a major detox, you understand that the healing hurts worse than the wound, right? You understand that the detox is more excruciating than the illness. So we are in the detoxing of this planet right now. So your job is to find that inner detox and find the clarity in the eye of your storm and keep your eye on the prize. That will help you navigate your personal vision quest, whether you join us online out or not. If you want more information about my workshop, it's www.jessicaallstrom.com and just look for Vision Quest. Thank you guys. See you soon.